No sé si estaban, o sea, en este momento voy a, voy a averiguar si estaban o no. Como una película, que sí. No, una, una almohada. No, porque te interrumpe. No. Ya lo pusiste tarde. Sí, 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 di que ya voy, ya voy. No, no, but yo ya. So, your comments were hidden. Beware the dots. I thought, how do they? No, did I hide the comments? I don't even know how to do that. Was that me? The dots really help. I know, I thought that was you guys. I thought you guys were like, hey, we're not going to comment. <laughs> I thought everyone was like, yo, we're not going to comment. We're just going <laughs> to put dots. Oh, there we go. I, I don't know what's going on. I have no clue what's going on. Like the dots are back. What is wrong? What is... Uh, let me see. Ocultar video en vivo. I don't even... I don't know what's going on. I have no clue. Maybe if it hits 100, like people... Like, um, Instagram just blocks it, maybe? Or maybe they, they've been blocking, like, I don't know. Instagram is so weird, because it, be, it, it may be something like that. But anyways, um, I, I, <laughs> I mean, it, it looks fine, because you can see the pain thing, but, uh, but I'm, I'm sorry if, if like, you guys have been wanting to ask questions. Uh, it, it seems like, I don't know, we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to do it this way for some reason tonight. I don't know. Um, let me see if I can shift this a little bit because it's glaring. Like the glare has been um, a problem tonight. It's probably not the best setup for, for me to do this. But I wanted to give it a try. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't do excuses. So... You know, if, if it doesn't work out, it's my fault that I didn't know how to adjust. But if it works out, then, then you know, we can say, okay, uh, we were able to pull it, to pull through, but, um, but we're not, <laughs> I'm, I'm personally not doing, uh, not doing it like this again. Um, I'll find some other way. So as I was saying, um, Danny's been amazing. She she's posing like crazy. Um, um, the the I had to go back to the darks of the hair so that they kind of behave like darks because when I uh, when I first started like that drawing was fine, but then afterwards, um, as soon as I started putting down the rest of the values, then it it didn't make a lot of sense. So, so I have to go back and and carefully just adjust that that value again. But that's fine. I mean, that's sort of what happens while you paint. Like, you get close to a value, to the value you need, to the hue you need, and then you know, with the rest of the painting, you you kind of get closer and closer and closer and closer. And if it's progressive, if that, you know, if that getting closer is uh, is something that you do sort of organically and progressively, then then it you know then it's nice. It feels like you you can you know you developed a painting. Um, problem is when it doesn't when it doesn't look like that. When you have to go back and then change something and then go forward and. And then you feel like you're advancing, but then you have to go back and change something else. See, I'm I'm far brushier when I when I try to do these um, these sort of ala prima ones, which is kind of nice. I've always loved brush strokes. Like for me, it's um, like the Russian, like 19th century Russians. Those are like incredible.
So I'm I'm always reminded of like um, I mean the the ones we know of like but like like Repin has uh, some crazy cool uh, like oil sketches um, or studies, uh, but even like um, just other painters that are not sort of literally like the itinerant part of the itinerant painters um, that are so so good also. And for some reason, they would do very flat strokes, like Russian painters would always have these, these very flat brush strokes. And I remember, I used to love that. I used to love, love those strokes. By flat, I mean like the brush shape. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed it, noticed the change, but it does help me a ton to have that darker value there um, because now now I understand my other values a little bit better it's kind of a richer dark so now I now I totally understand these other surrounding values a little bit better Do the uh, lighter side of the, her dark shirt because it still has to behave like a dark shirt, but it is lighter, so I got to do that. I'm kind of convinced that it the the dot thing was uh, well. It could be a couple of things. It could be really freaky, and that Instagram is always listening. And they heard us. And I was like, oh, you know, it would be so nice to have, like, the space of the comments not interfere with the painting. And they were like, done, done. We are listening. Um, that one would be very scary. Or it could be that over 100 people, because I noticed that right now we started off well, but when we hit 100, almost, I think immediately after we hit 100, um the dots appeared so but yeah but we can we can remember this night as the night of the dots so that's a very stupid name i thought it was going to sound cooler as soon as i said it but no um so yeah so i don't know if you guys can not ah, probably not but i did a slight change in value there that helps a ton that helps like a, a lot. So now I have to be very careful because if I, if I start, if I keep using this brush, this kind of uh, bristle brush on her face, I'm going to have to either put a lot more paint down and risk uh, scratching my paint or I have to use a softer brush. But I'm going to first try the... Um, I'm going to try the, 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 my other shorter bristle to see how it goes. And if it doesn't work, like I'll, I'll let you guys know. Um, but let me, let me give it a shot, and we'll see. If, if, it, if this doesn't work, then we'll go for the other brush. But I want to have some shorter strokes in there also. So maybe this one will help me. Uh, again, if it doesn't work, I'll go with a softer like natural hair brush and see if that one is, can help me out. So I'm still mixing my puddle. I put a neutral down because I want, I want, there's an area in the middle of her forehead that's, uh, what the hell happened there? That's um, kind of more neutral. Feels really nice too. I'm gonna see if I can get that. But it feels yellower, a little yellower. Even like green, could be, yeah, no, that's good. So the cool thing is that this one is letting me do, this brush is letting me do like shorter strokes, but I'm a little worried that eventually, again, you know, if I, if I try to go forward, like it's not going to let me. I don't think it will, you know, but 
let me see if how far we can take this little, um, little brush. Not so little. Yeah, I know it's a little. I should have started with something bigger. I'll do. I'll do another. Um, we can do another live one of these, where I just use a big brush. Like, I'll use one big brush throughout the whole painting, and I'll try to see how far I can take that big brush because that's a great exercise. You know, you know, Ah, yeah, I should do like a drawing. Pero te acuerdas que es el de Samu? Dibujándolo. Ah, dibujo en vivo, sí. So, let me see. I think this is sh this is shorter. I have to I have to adjust that. I don't know why I ha why I haven't adjusted that, but that's that's a lot shorter. We'll see. So people, now is the time for you to ask any questions, anything that you want to ask. I can answer anything. And he says, the only time I'm going to give you a chance to just ask whatever you want, personal, anything regarding my personal life, like, um, you know, anything, just no boundaries, all, you know, everything goes. You have one chance. I'll give you guys like two minutes to just ask anything you want, like absolutely anything, anything at all. Like tricks, like stuff that I'm never going to say publicly about my painting. Because we know we share stuff, but up to, you know, until some point. Um, but, you know, if you guys want to know, you know, all the stuff that I do behind, like, closed doors, you know, what goes on behind the curtains, it's right now. Only chance, right now. I'm, 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 <laughs> oh, God. Um, it's a dumb joke, but I kept on going. I'm sorry. It's a stupid joke. You have one minute. One minute left. So this brush is really working. It's it's nice. It's um it's actually nicer than I thought. Um, estuvo bueno el chiste, linda. Lo estiré mucho, un poquito, ¿no es cierto? Sí, lo, lo, lo estiré. <ríe> Qué güey. We should, we should say, I should say stuff out loud to see if Instagram is, is uh, listening. To see, like, oh, like, you know, we should let just people post emojis. Only emojis right now. It would be cool if just Instagram would let us just put emojis. Who knows? Like, who, who, who knows? Maybe they let us. Like, could you imagine if they were listening? Oh, my God, that's crazy. I would close my account. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Instagram, if you're listening, I'm kidding. I am so kidding. I love Instagram. I love it so much. ¿Cuál es la qué? Sí, me cagué el chiste. Ay. So this is nice, but I'm losing some of my darks. So I'm going to use my darks right now to help me sort of find my drawing again. But I have enough kind of really nice chunky paint where I can, I feel that I can sort of move that paint just a little bit, just enough, so that I can get to, I can kind of describe my drawing again. We'll see how that goes. I have to kind of like shift here, shift gears, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this brush, the one that I've been using a lot to paint here. Um, and I'm gonna see, I, like I don't know what to expect, because if you guys would, if you could tell, because you guys can't, but if you were able to see what I'm seeing here, it's like a soup. It's like a, I, I, I don't know why the rest of the paintings that I've painted um, don't really feel this way, but I'm guessing that that's, you know, that that's what happens when you, when you work from life. So, like the shifts are, are, are different. It feels different. 
So I have to be very, very careful now because right now I'm drawing with color. So, I mean, really, it's no different than what I was doing if you think about it. But, but, it does feel a little bit different. Um, Linda, te mueves un poquitico hacia tu izquierda, pero poquitico. No te moviste nada. O sea, fue milimétrico lo que... No, mi amor, te estás es como cayendo hacia la izquierda. O sea, si, mueves, si giras tu cabeza hacia la izquierda. You got... O sea, si hubieran visto a Daniela, parecía meciéndose. Se estaba meciendo. Meciendo de un lado al otro. Una pelota. O sea, lo máximo. No, pero ahora te moviste mucho. Entonces, meseate. Haz... Mese... No, ahí estás bien, estás perfecta. Ay, no. Sorry, I was, I was posing Danny. She's a professional model. So I got to be very careful about these tiny little strokes. Um... I think one that is not helping me at all is the mouth. Sí, no, 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 estás perfecto. Pero, yeah, I don't, I don't like what I, what I'm doing with the mouth, so I got to give it a shape. I don't try to shape that mouth so quickly because it gets, um, it gets too, it's too hard if you do it like that prematurely, like that shape feels just kind of tacked on. And I don't, I, I don't want to do that. But now I feel like I have to go for that shape now. It's better. It's, it's, it's so strange. Like it's a cool color and it's darker, but it's not dark. Like the darks in this painting are so transparent. It's crazy. It's really beautiful. Like I wasn't expecting any of that. Um, I think this is going to just help me with that drawing, just to find that mouth. I need to find, like, the uh, darks of the mouth. Oof, let me see. That's off. Thank you. Um... That's not bad. A little bit's not great, but that's at least I think it's fine. It's close. The idea is to get closer and closer, I think. You know, great people, they just hit it. They just really hit it. Like if you if you look at um uh Schmidt paint from, you know, paint from life. Oof. I remember my teacher used to call it schlocky. Like he was uh like he had like um, like tricks, like he would do tricks when he was painting, and and you know I guess that's fine, but I thought I I always thought Schmidt was crazy good. He's he is very good, and he can hit a drawing with color like nobody. It's insane. Well, my teacher Max does too. To be to be honest, like you got to give him that. How are we doing? Hearts. Show me some hearts so that we're alive here. Danny Danny needs to see some hearts because if not, this is all for nothing. Oh, nice. Thank you. I te mandaron corazones, Danny. No muchos, pero bueno. Kind of pushing it with those darks, but uh, it's not as dark. But I need that. I need that dark back there so that I can then come back and make it a little bit lighter. But 
it'll give it'll just help me shape that dark I think her cheekbone kind of came, comes out a little more, but. And her hair, I was telling you guys that, her hair actually comes in more. Let's see, what is that? How can I mix that? There's a light on her hair. It's kind of nice, but let's see, what is that? So I'm really concentrating on form and just giving it, slowly giving it shape. Um, um, Steve would teach us to think of it like a big ball of clay and you were slowly, slowly giving it just shape. And I think that, that had resonance for me. That always did. Um, it always felt like that was perfect. That was a perfect description, kind of um, close to my sensibility. So I always, I've always approached the uh, bigness part of painting. And to be honest, this, and this is a little weird, you know how we have like certain ways. Baja la cabeza un poquito, solo inclina hacia abajo un poquito. Sí, pero no importa. So. You know how we have um, ways that we would want to paint? And then there's how we paint, which sometimes is, is quite different from how we would want to paint. Um, in my case, the way I would want to paint, and I've had this, I, I've, I've had this sort of um, feeling of how I want to do things for the longest time. Like I would love to paint as if I was painting like huge sketches. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like I would love to, to for my painting to feel just huge, to feel like it's really, really kind of bold and it's, it's been painted with like this huge brush. Um, I've had that idea for the longest time in my head, like that's what I should strive for. And, you know, I guess technically it doesn't really have to be that. It just means that that's something that, that it's very, very sort of important for me. Just the, the uh, bigness in paint is very, very, you know, it's something that I think is very, very important. And um, so when I try to paint these paintings, I'm always reminded of that. And even, even if, I, if I'm painting something smaller, um, I'm always thinking of, you know, smaller and something that has, for example, like the ones that I've been doing that have these, these very specific kind of drawings underneath. I'm, I always try to, remem to remind myself that, you know, my painting, if I could, you know, if I could emphasize something within my painting, it would be like bigness, just the bigger shapes, uh, bigger qualities of paint. So it's kind of strange because like I, I get that I don't necessarily paint like um, like what I'm describing, but I think that when I ah uh, that wasn't right. Ugh, tried not to curse. Um, but I think that when I when I approach painting like my mind is there, like, is in the right place, like, I know that that's something that interests me, so. Oh, God, that nose is, like, amazing, but it's going to be so tough to paint. 
I want to blink and be done with it. Could you imagine? I remember. I I remembered when um, when I was a uh, when I was uh, Stephen's uh, student, Steve Asell's student. I would look at him paint and say, I just and I was nowhere near. Like I didn't know how to paint. Period. And I would just look at him and say. Wow, I wish I could just close my eyes and, and I would just immediately have his ability. And then it's just, then this is fun. Then this is just about painting. Then it would be incredible because that's all I would have, you know, that's, that's all there. You know, the, the, the road would just be cut short and then I could do the cool part, which is just paint. And uh, for the longest time, I would sort of fantasize about those things. And I know it's a creepy fantasy, but um, but what I didn't realize then is that the coolest part is the journey. Like the the, the most exciting part of all of this is just uh, finding finding out, you know, what he did, you know, in his own journey, which was, you know, how how do I approach painting? You know, what interests me, and. Right now, I can't admit, you know, as much as I, I, I love my teachers, right now I don't even think of the way, I think of the things that they said that, that I hold dear, that I still hold dear, but I don't, like I don't, um, I don't think about them in that way anymore. I just, um, you know, it's just admiration and, and, um, and that's it, you know, that's, and n now I walk my own path. And I think that that's pretty cool. I think we all have to get there. But yeah, the, the uh, moral of the story is that don't, don't rush it. There's no point in rushing it. There's no fun in rushing. Just, um, you're going to miss everything if you think of, of just the results when you paint. You're going to miss like the, the coolest parts of painting. What did I do there? Ugh. Keep those hearts coming. That's the one thing that's keeping uh, Danny alive. That and the fact that she sways when I ask her to shift the pose. So I'm strengthening those darks. Like I said, the the darks are going to help me sort of find my way again through the uh, through the drawing. These these tiny little not dark darks, but sort of like mid mid tone darkish colors. Um, they're going to help me sort of find my drawing again. And it's kind of weird. Like I haven't. I don't know, this feels different than my paintings, my other paintings, but I'm liking it. It's just crazy bolder and juicier. And, okay, those are weird descriptions, but it just, um, it just feels different and kind of cool. See, that should, this should be... Kind of, I'm, I'm seeing what you guys are seeing. I'm trying to look at the camera. I, and this is a little distorted for me too. So I'm very curious to see how this looks when I, <laughs> when I kind of lift it up. It's probably longer. It's probably more elongated than what I am kind of judging right now, just because of the uh, the uh, position of the uh, of the sketchbook. Um, that's why when I work, if I work out my drawing beforehand, like I don't have to worry about those things while I paint, but in here obviously I do. Uh, let me see. So in the, in the next break, I'll check it out and see if it's if it just if I'm crazy off. It'd be fun though. To... Oh. 
had to go with a smaller brush. It was actually, there's was, was a lot of paint. Maybe I exaggerated the amount of paint that I was putting at the beginning. So it kind of made me, it just, it's just making me be a little more careful right now. Like some Chinese painters also are crazy cool, good. Like um, with uh, with Ala Prima painting, they can they feel really comfortable by when they put when they draw with their strokes because uh, they're usually very very good draftsmen. So uh, that's a slightly warmer. It's not that much down there. I haven't cursed at all today. I'm super proud. But baja la casa un poquito, mi amor. Es que la estás levantando un poquitico. Sí. Sí, yo creo. I'm mad at myself that I let this little moment of the uh, of you know the crease be like uh, an important one for the because uh, I have to uh, to work out sort of have to work out her neck underneath there but it's fine it had to be somewhere so and I really wanted to paint like a like, like a spread uh, today so it's like a really nice purple here not purple but more purple than the uh, and her chin, you know, light on her chin. Just the light opens up just a little bit. The sh the, I mean, the, the ambient light just kind of fills that shadow up just a little bit. It's looking flatter th th for you guys because I'm, I'm noticing what you guys are looking at. It's looking a bit flatter. Uh, and I think hopefully you're going to be surprised, pleasantly surprised when you see like the smaller values that I've been, like shifts in values that that I've painted. Um, but again, watch me say that, and then I <laughs> lift the painting up for you guys, and it's like, okay, nope, we don't see it. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Uh, let's see. This is nice. Cool. I want... Yeah, that's more yellow there, but I sort of want the uh, the um, jacket to sort of flow to the neck. It's really cool. Let me see if we can get some of that jacket, some of that yellow uh, on top. Because right now it's it's nice. It's not quite the color or, or the value. More more importantly, the value I feel. Um, let's see, but this is less mustardy and more like lemony yellow, but it's looking kind of cool if I do that. And I don't want to sacrifice that mustard color that I liked. Let's see if I can get to that. Come on. Estoy hablando mucho menos. Si has visto, estoy más concentradito. Sí. Creo. ¿No? Parece. ¿No parece? Creo que no me gusta. ¿No? How does it seem that I'm more concentrated on, on painting to you guys? No, but you can, you, can, you can answer with hearts. There we go. There we go. No, claro, mira, un, hay un heart flow ahí. You guys deserve, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just give you, you know, free paintings. Yeah, everyone, free paintings for everyone. But what I need is for, you know, the people that want free paintings, just give me your email right now. Give me your email address right now. And I'll, see, the joke came back. See, it was lame. But if you bring it back, then maybe there's a chance that it can be cool again. It just it revives. 
Um, so yeah, email me. Email me. Uh, and I'll send you a free painting. Free painting. Just for hanging out today. Because you guys have been awesome. Uh, look at those hearts. All for free paintings. You greedy bastards. I'm not going to give you anything. My God. Okay, well, this is better. What, is, what was this? Was that a shadow? It doesn't look like a shadow right now. Anyways. It's good. There's a dark here that I didn't do at the beginning, but I need to put it down because it's not... Did I lose? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of bugging. That, that little area there is it's bugging me enough to like do something about it. Yeah, this is, I I haven't used as much paint with the other ones, so that shows you how conditioning it is to paint from life, like, it's really quite different if you, if you think about it, like, your mentality is just different, because these are the same, in all honesty, these are the same paint, same brushes, same everything, and I've felt the process completely different from the other paintings. So I think that's super cool. I mean, that's not a knock against anything. It's just that that's, you know, that that's how it is. It just kind of shows you that how an approach, how the uh, the things you, you, you think are valuable are still very, very much so valuable to you. Um, you know, your, the philosophy, if you want, while you paint, it's, it's still there. But... Um, you know, that doesn't change. That doesn't have to change. There's no point in changing any of that. Um, but I want this color to feel kind of flat and cool. But the, but technically, the approach just has to be different because you have to adjust. You, can't, you have to. There's, not, there's nothing you can do about it. So look at that. I've been, I think I squeezed out yellow like three times. That's crazy. I usually don't go through my paint uh, by doing when doing these. Um, ¿Tú no la viste? No la no la no la miraste cuando cuando descansamos. No. Danny, hablanos en inglés un poquito, a little bit, Danny. Danny's going to speak in English right now for um, for a little bit. If you guys can heart, um, just a ton of hearts, she actually, she can sing Colombia's uh, national anthem in, in English. There's a version of Colombia's national anthem in English, and she, she can do that. She can sing that for you guys. Uy, Dani, resto de corazones impresionante ve afinando ve afinando por favor Dani ya cuando quieras cuando quieras so I liked I liked that sleeve yeah she says she's um, she's gonna sing in like just give her like two minutes two minutes and she's gonna belt it out So see, this is what happens when I'm in charge and I just talk about stupid stuff, like blindly, having no sort of feedback. I just get stupider. And for the people that don't know me, that's me. That's, that's what happens if, if I'm not regulated. So um, so that's better. This is that's better. That's you know that stroke is crazy, but we're getting closer. I mean closer. Yeah. Feels nice and loose, uh, but you know I'm realizing that I'm probably not going to be able to take it as far as I 
would have wanted, but eh, that's fine. Good, good experience. So that doesn't work because that's that's what we used at the beginning. That color. Um, let's see if we can find like a better solution to that. That's better. Uh, that's better. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of loosely putting those strokes down. I kind of like that. If it, it sort of kind of falls apart, um, you know, when as it goes down. I don't know if I should change my yellow. Just to give, I'm going to change it to the to the Winsor Newton. I want to I want to see what happens. You know, this one's actually a uh, Whoa, that's a lot. Oof. Oh my God, that was a lot. That wasn't even, that's not sexy, the way it came out. Um, I want to see if, uh, if it has a little more body, because I've been, and it's a lot brighter. You can tell immediately, like that's nicer, richer color. So I don't know why I've been using that one. Uh, who knows? I mean, it's not that it's going to change my, like right now I'm going to start painting really like cool, like, oh yeah, that made a difference. But, um, but yeah, um, because the hues are very much alike, but in terms of of saturation, it just it, it feels a lot more saturated than the other one. So, and it has it has a little more body. But I've been painting with yeah, you can tell it has. Uh, but I've been painting with that one for a while for the last couple of paintings, and it was fine. So, I don't know. Maybe go back to this one, but. Since I squeezed the hell out of it, now I'm now it's gone. Now I have to buy another one. Cause I'm out of that one. Have you seen those painters that have like, you know, they have, um, like, uh, what do you call it? like drawers full of paint? Like it's crazy. I always feel like, how the hell did they buy this paint? Like paint is still expensive for me. Trust me, it never gets cheap. But I'm always imagining either, either like these these really kind of famous painters, they're either like sponsored by paint, they just send paint to them, or the uh, owner of the the gallery owner just buys stuff for them, or they just sell like a you know hundreds of thousand dollar painting, and they just say, okay, I'm gonna spend uh, twenty five thousand dollars worth of paint right now, and maybe they do that. It kind of feels like that, that that's what they do. But if I showed you my stack of paint, it is, you know, it's a bag. I have a bag of paint. That's all I have. Um, so I ran out, I run out of paint like you guys. It's exactly the same. So I don't know why I changed the gesture of, of this here. Uh, it's kind of cool. I can use the dark to like reshape it again. Oh, you guys are missing that, that little part down there. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh, I can reshape this. Let me see. Let me use my flat again. Porque yo me voy a ver. Sí, te has movido impresionante. Um, yo solo te he echado flores, pero todo es mentira. Que en serio todo es mentira, Daniela. Me Totalmente. Todo el tiempo. So, I was just telling Danny how she's moved like all the time. Just, I'm just incapable of like painting her. So we can blame, um, I can blame my shortcomings on her this time. Uh, But you know what's kind of cool about these sessions? They feel like, even though I don't, like, I'm not being, like, super precious. Like, I'm not really kind of, um, what do you call that? Like, I'm not rendering form. Um, I feel like the the hour is just, you know, goes by really quickly. Uh, really slowly, I mean, like I feel like I can get 
ton of stuff done in like an hour and I didn't really feel that uh, I don't really I, I don't really feel that when I'm painting the the my other paintings um, they feel I feel like I have to rush so that I can get some sort of finish at the end um, but in this one it kind of it's kind of cool because like if we stopped right now I'd be like okay you know that's that's kind of okay I guess um, so they're a little different actually and it feels kind of nice Again, different, but not better or worse, just different. But I'm 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 happy that this I have some of this in the uh inside the um the uh, sketchbook so that people can tell not can tell the difference. I don't you know I don't care about, you know, people saying, Oh, look at that, there's a big difference there. No no no. I think it's just anecdotal like it's really nice if that's in there like oh look you know that's what that's what he does when you know he can he can paint from life and and that's what he can sort of access and then that's the other stuff that's done from kind of photographs but I didn't want to let you guys kind of feel that this is something foreign to me like painting from life is just you know it's the same Every time I, if I have a chance to do it, I'll do it gladly. I'll, you know, I'm super happy to do it. I know that if I do this, it kind of, well, not right now. I was, yeah, shift to focus. I like my cell phone. Like, I think the camera is kind of nice. It's a Huawei. It's a Chinese cell phone. It's very nice. It has like a Leica camera. It's very cool. And I dropped it the other day. Ugh. So the whole bottom part of the screen is like broken. Ah, uh, pissed me off. I had I've never broken like a, a cell phone or anything really. But you know it works. I put some um, some tape, and not the tape you would think. I put this kind of tape. So yeah, so it looks really ghetto, but it looks it looks cool. It looks really nice. Okay, let me see. I need to get to that kind of warmer. Just that warmer part of her ear, like inside of the ear. It's a really nice warm, like right there. You know, one day I'm going to tape myself while painting so that you guys can see how I'm painting. I'm sticking my ass out. Like... You know, I know that Danny's the one that's posing. I look like an idiot, and it's so uncomfortable because I'm sticking, like, my butt out because the tripod doesn't let me kind of sit comfortably, and the and I have to be far away from my painting because I can't put my ugly-ass face right here because then you guys won't see anything. So yeah, okay, I'll stop. That's sounding like excuses. So I'm gonna stop. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tape myself so I, so that you guys can see so that you guys can see what I endure. And I don't think anyone right now here would know exactly how it feels for me to just hold this pose for so long while I'm painting. I don't think anyone. I don't think I could find sympathy from anyone right now. Anyone. It's so sad, Danny, that, that nobody can actually understand what I'm going through right now. Nobody. Like, I wish there was people. I wish there was a chat so that they could tell me, dude, I, we, we get it. We understand you. But nobody understands, Danny, what it means to like kind of stay still and paint at the same time. Super tough. Super tough. I don't expect you to understand. You're just posing, but I'm just, I'm, you know, it's just painful for me. It's just crazy painful. Did I stretch that? Was I stretching that joke? It was pretty bad. Actually, it was pretty good.
just heart if I was stretching. Heart if I was stretching that joke. And it should have ended like, you know. Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not, no. Stop with the hearts, thank you. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh my God. This is not not as not like the hard time I was having with my uh, with my daughter's painting, but yeah, but this one's yeah, this is not that easy either. This one's not not very easy, um, but I'm enjoying it. I think it's super cool, so that's what's kind of keeping me going. That and the um, speaking to the air. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Over a hundred people all the time watching and I get no feedback. None. So cool. Yep. That's great. This is like a test for me. Like if I wanna do if I wanna do like videos, I have to know that I'm gonna be able to do this. To talk as if there was you know, the, the universe was listening. Um, what is that? What is that little color there? It's so awesome to judge color. Like one of the coolest things from like working from life is the fact that you can judge color like no other time. Um, you know, it's, it's just so subtle that it's a chance that you don't have with anything else. Really, really like that. Cor tiny corner of the mouth, a little too much, maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's kind of nice in her jacket. Let me try to get that. I jump around in the painting constantly, within the painting constantly. See, look at that. That yellow is so much better. I don't know why I'm using like that other yellow. It's kind of dumb. Um, so I, I usually jump around like all the time. Well, not, not all the time, but it's... um. It's very annoying. I think it's a it's a bad habit that I have, but the truth is, is I I feel comfortable. And again, it's it sort of um, emphasizes this whole thing I was talking about, uh, the 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 wholeness of the painting, being really really important. That when I notice one thing, then suddenly I notice another, and then another, and then another, and it just it it becomes almost impossible to not to not go for those things like immediately. But yeah, it's a very it's it's not a it's not an organized way of painting. Oh, that changed a, a little that changed quite a bit just adjusting that angle. That's nice. Cuz I was getting a little lost uh without that angle there. Like her neck, the way her neck kind of comes out. If I didn't do that, then very little things. Surprising how how just a change in the angle of your stroke just changes everything. Okay, that has to come to, to the light. Whoa, picking up paint. It's so juicy, this painting. It's so crazy. I don't know why I didn't... None of the other paintings felt like that. Uh, where's my blue? See, I need blue again. <sighs> this is so tough on, on Danny. Write to her. You should... Tu eres cuenta privada, sí. 
No, she has a private account. You can't follow her because she just hates all of you. But um, no. yeah, no, she she despises people. Um, so you can't. Um, I don't know if you can help. Her, you can uh, thank her any other way. But you know, um, you know, if anyone wants it, just just right right now. You can just let me know right now, and I'll give you her email and her cell phone. And her address, and you can, you know. But if if anyone wants, you know, to know, I'll gladly just just uh, give away all her personal info. Um, just let me know right now if you guys are, uh, if you guys need any of that. Just one chance, you know. See, I stretched the joke three times. Now I can't do it anymore. But that was the third, and now I'm done. I promise I'm done. That you know. That's not going to come up again. That dumb joke. Um, no, no, no. Esa fue tercera. No. Tercera, seguro. Mm -hmm. Segurísimo. Oye, yo no tengo idea si me está quedando chévere. No tengo idea. O sea, estoy perdido. Totalmente como así trabajando a ciegas. Eso te lo dije a ti solamente. Yo creo que nadie más me oyó. Nadie. <laughs> oh, they're back. Someone do dots so I can see the painting. <laughs> you guys are back. Hell yeah. See, it's a hundred. That was my theory. If we go... If we go over a hundred, for some reason, maybe they're trying something out. If we go over a hundred, let's see. So we're ninety-nine, a hundred, a hundred. So just the people that are not cool, leave, please. So you guys that are not cool, leave. I'm kidding. Nobody leave. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I have no clue. But we're back. Hell yeah. I think they're. See, I think they're messing with us. They heard the Danny thing. They want everyone. Maybe they're interested in Danny. I think so. I think that's what's happening. Wait. So can we all see? But I'm only watching just a uh, yeah free paintings. Oh fuck! I'm sorry. I'm allowed to curse this once. <laughs> Free paintings for everyone. I'm like the Oprah of Instagram. You have a painting. You have a painting. But it stopped. No, the comment stopped. Try, try commenting again. I can scroll. Oh my God, I can scroll down. You were doing so good. Yeah, I was. Yeah. It was perfect. It was. Nothing lasts forever. Now it's comments again. Now I have to look. Mas puntos. <laughs> See, it's terrible because now I'm not going to be able to concentrate on the, on the painting. Now I'm going to be looking here all the time. Free paintings! <laughs> okay, if you guys... Um, we'll do this like the easy way. If you guys can guess Danny's favorite animal... I was going to say free paintings, but no, you know, something, somebody's going to get it. I don't want, no. No. I'm going to go get some dot tattoos. <laughs> yeah. I think we were, I think we had something special here. That was nice. Those dots were nice. Maybe, maybe Instagram was trying something out with us. We were like guinea pigs for the dots. Uh, kittens, no, not kit, elephant, no, alpaca, 
Yeah, we're from Peru. Yeah, right. Dragon. Oh, that's a that's an animal. Nice. Giraffe.